First, we'll open our loading gate and load six rounds individually, while manually indexing the cylinder. Being single action only, we'll have to cock the hammer back for each shot. A notch on this underside rests directly on the trigger, ready to be released. It's driven forward by a large flat spring attached to a spur at its rear. Attached directly to the hammer is the hand, which is pressed up against the cylinder's ratchet head by a flat spring also set in the hammer. The cylinder is aligned to the bore by the cylinder stop, which is sprung by a V-spring to rise. An extension at its rear is tripped by the trigger, which biases downwards, allowing rotation of the cylinder until the trigger is pressed back by the rotation of the hammer being cocked. The stop remains in place as the trigger is held back by the shooter on firing. The safety is just a hammer block, one that only prevents the gun from being cocked. By design, it was likely meant to keep the revolver in half cock, though the examples we know of can slip out. Perhaps a manufacturing mistake. Just to be clear, the half cock position is a deep set notch in the hammer that prevents the trigger from being pulled. Finally, of course, there is the trigger, which is powered by a separate flat spring. 